You dream about this moment as a little kid, becoming a starting quarterback at the NFL level. Now, with all the injuries and all the drama that had happened in my collegiate career, it's just amazing that I'm even here right now. I'm very blessed to be at this stage and be at this point. So you know that I'm not going to take these opportunities for granted or these chances for granted. I'm going to try to make the most of however long my career is going to go here in the NFL. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to go. You never know when something might snap. You never know when an injury might occur that gets you knocked out for the rest of your career. Right? And I'm very susceptible to those. So I have to take care of my body, and I have to be able to have a clean pocket. And I can't be doing a lot of this, but, oh, man, I take some big hits. Uh, we get to the 48-yard line here, third and one. 49-yard line will be a first down, but James White not going to get it, and New Orleans will end up scoring on their next possession. Here's a third and four situation, and I'm going to go ahead and scramble again, and we have got a lot of room. Oh, I bust off a tackle, and instead of getting out of bounds, I, I got to think about this a little bit a little bit deeper, man, a little bit deeper. I can't afford to take big hits. I got to get rid of the football early. I'm not that big of a guy. I'm six foot one. Like 200 some odd pounds, soaking wet. Yeah, that's probably why I get hurt all the time. First and 10, 10 nothing, deep bomb to the right side. That is going to be caught by Pascal. Zach Pascal, 28 yard catch. That's a nice little pitching catch there. And then my first career NFL touchdown is going to go to Jamison Crowder. I'm always going to remember this out of Duke. So another ACC connection, BC and Duke. Here's a little throw. Got hits as I threw, but we're going to get it off to James White, who makes the catch for the first down. We're still in this thing. 10-7. Haven't come up with a really costly interception or any turnovers or anything. That's something that I've been, I've been concerned about during preseason. But here's a nice throw to Zach Pascal on second and 10. We got 20 seconds in the second quarter. And we do call a timeout here at the six-yard line. And I'm going to roll to the right. I got nothing open. Oh, you got to come back for the ball there, friend. That's just that's just chemistry. That's just chemistry. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson picks me off, and that's going to be my first interception of my NFL career. And that's you, you got to come back for the ball, man. You're right there. I know it's going to be a contested catch, but it's stuff that we got to work on as a unit and as an offense. And you just got to you got to you got to fight for it. And I don't feel like my receiver really really fought for that, but. Still 10-7, so nothing really hurt on that interception. And we're going to check it down here to Jamison Crowder, who gets in the end zone again. A little dive here, a little flashy dive. That's his second touchdown of the day. And it's 14-17 as New Orleans will come back and get another touchdown. So we just got to hang in there with them. That's really what it comes down to. New Orleans is just a good offensive team, and we got to hang in. But that sack is not going to help. Third and 14, and this bomb to the right. Devonta Smith can't make the catch. And Devontae can't make it. So, unfortunately, I mean, I know it was a tough grab. Really, really tough grab for him. But, unfortunately, couldn't hang on. And New Orleans is going to capitalize on that drop and get a touchdown again here, 24-14. to We need a big play. We need a big play. We need a touchdown to stay within the game here. And we got a pretty clean pocket. But I'm going to fire it up deep and almost picked off off the tip. Devontae Smith is going to drop it again. Here's a deep throw to the right, and this one is to Smith as well, and it's going to be a pick six. So the rookie struggles are there. The rookie struggles are definitely there. 31 to 14. I'm going to roll out to the right. Pass completed to Pascal. Who's going to get it all the way to the two-yard line? That's going to be a fourth down and inches play and little spot route, little hitch, little choice route, however you want to describe it. However you want to describe it, he's got open. Got open, right? Touchdown anyway. 31-21 your final score. Saints will walk out of the home field advantage that they had in the Superdome and get out of here with a W. So, you know, honestly, I don't think I played that bad. Like, I had one bad interception. You know, you could argue that the other one was, you know, you shouldn't have just thrown that to try to get your receiver to, to come back for the ball. But I, I feel like that one in the end zone really needed to, uh, that was kind of my, was on my receiver, right? I mean, but if, if the media was asking me, if the media was asking me, I would definitely blame it on myself. I'd blame it on myself. You know, sometimes as the quarterback, you, you have to come out and say that it was your fault. 
You made the boo-boo. You made the error. All right, so unfortunately we didn't get a win. And I'm 0-1 as a career starter in the NFL. But, you know, hey, you know, we got a statement game. We got a statement game now. We're coming back off a loss, going up against Atlanta. And my idol, my childhood idol, would be Matt Ryan. Yeah, Matt Ryan. I, I watched him growing up at Boston College. And, you know, he's been a really good pro. Matty Ice. And it's, it's pretty crazy that I'm going to be going up against him. Maybe I'll end up talking to him after the game. I didn't get a chance to before the game. So hopefully I play well and I get a W over my former childhood idol. 3 nothing game here at Atlanta, and I'm going to roll to the right and pick up the first down. That's really what I like to do. I like to be able to get out in space and, and use my legs a little bit. I haven't really felt too bad with the mobility up here in the pros. I feel like the strength and conditioning has been top-notch here for New York. They've really got me going on here with the mobility and throwing on the run. That's basically something that I've always used to do in high school and out at Notre Dame when I was practicing with the, with the team in Middle Tennessee State. I know we ran a lot of read option plays. Boston College, not so much. Try to protect me. But so far, it's been really, really fun to sling it. You know, I'm having a lot of fun out here in front of the New York faithful, these J-E-T-S fans. And so far, so good. I mean, we're slinging it around. We're having some fun here on offense. 7-3 game, a little play action. I'm looking deep. We got a man. Boom. Nice shot. That's a dot. That's a dot. I know Jamison Crowder and I have been really hooking up so far in the first two weeks of the season. I'm really having a lot of fun with him as one of my slot receivers. But Devontae Smith is pretty good too. But fortunately, I made a bad throw here. Almost picked off. But 10-3, to and here's a deep bomb and wow that's what I'm talking about strength and conditioning I threw that ball about 70 yards James White on second and 10 will get about six. Third down and four blitz coming in pass completed to Devontae Smith he's going to be a big time playmaker between me and him you know I know what it's like to play with a good wide receiver so between me and Xavier Bolt and Devontae Smith I think, I think I'm ready you know, to force feed him the ball but I do get a penalty here from uh, from Atlanta. They will end up hitting me late. So we pick up a first down off of the roughing the passer penalty. And then I'm out here running all over the place. They got two rushes for 20 yards. First and 10. Pass completed. Oh, that I got to throw that one actually in the end zone. Nobody was back there. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. I can't throw that one on a line. That one's got to be a little bit loftier and get into the end zone for the score. We get down to the one-yard line. Jamison Crowder is going to get dropped. We're going to try to run it in with James White, who's not really known, right, at the NFL level. He's more of a receiving back. At least he was in New England. But uh, at the three-yard line, we can't convert to get a touchdown. So that one, maybe it's going to haunt us a little bit, and I know that I'm a little frustrated here. I actually went off to the locker room thinking I was super frustrated, but you know what? Coach Zim said, you know what? We're going to go for it on fourth down, and they, they got the touchdown. They got the touchdown. must have been like a goal line package with one of the bigger dudes. Maybe Sam Darnold got it. I don't know. I didn't see it. I wasn't paying attention. But either way, touchdown, 17-10 Jets, and I throw a pick in the end zone. So we were marching here again. We got up to the point where we were marching again, and I thought I was going to force that into that window right down low. For a receiver there to uh, to get that pass, low pass, but nothing doing there. It's going to be picked, and here's a pass completed to Devontae Smith, but a fumble, a fumble, but we are able to recover this. Fortunately, we can't get any points up on the board again. So fourth quarter, five minutes to go. Defense got to step up. They do. They get a field goal for Atlanta. They give up a field goal, and then I throw another pick. Yeah, I threw another pick. Yep, that totally happened. And uh, you know what? Again, the rookie struggles are very apparent. The the speed of the NFL. Some of these things, some of these throws you can make at Boston College. Some of these throws you can make in college, but you can't make them. You can't make them here in the NFL. These linebackers are too good. They're too fast. Our defense actually holds and forces a field goal. This pass can be completed to Crowder. And all we needed was a touchdown. That's all we needed. And Jamison Crowder's going to fumble. So even despite my own mistakes, teammates making mistakes here. That's going to lead to an Atlanta touchdown later on in the drive. And I'm just trying something deep here. 
at the end of the fourth quarter. Little Hail Mary thing, and that's going to be another pick. So three interceptions for my ledger today in start number two. And I know Coach Zim is not happy, and I wouldn't be happy either because I'm definitely not happy with myself. Matt Ryan walks out of New York with a win. And, you know, I, I hope that I impressed him a little bit. He didn't end up talking to me. So I'll, uh, I'll have to meet up with him again at some point. But, you know, he ain't got time for scrubs, I suppose. But, you know, I didn't play that bad again. Like, I know I got one touchdown on the day, but went over 300 yards. My average, my average yards per throw per attempt was pretty solid. I don't know. I, I just feel like, uh, I feel like it's just one or two mistakes. One or two mistakes in every game that we've played so far is just really costing us the entire game. So we basically have to be perfect in order to get wins. Xavier and Bolt have been keeping tabs on my, my former teammate, and he's playing really, really well out in Minnesota, so props to him. Not getting a lot of touchdowns, though, and that's probably a Kirk Cousins thing. I, you know, I have all the respect in the world for Kirk Cousins, but, you know, I, I don't think Z is... He's going to be... He's going to have a lot of yards, but maybe not a lot of touchdowns. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to have to keep tabs with him at some point. Maybe I'll call him eventually during the season and see how he's doing. I know he's going to be real busy trying to uh, to learn the craft of being a receiver at the NFL level. we got a divisional matchup here against Buffalo. 3-0 early, and pass going to be completed. That's a dot. That's the kind of low throw that I wanted to Devontae Smith earlier in Week 2, but... Touchdown didn't happen that way. Here's a touchdown to Devontae Smith. This is his first touchdown of his entire career, so kind of a, a late start for Devontae. But you know what? I think he and I have got a good connection going on this season. I know me and Jameson have a little bit better of a connection, but we're starting to work together here. Devontae Smith, another touchdown. That's a big-time throw. That's a big-time catch. Receiver did all the work there. 42-yard strike, and Devontae Smith now got two touchdowns on the season on the week on the week we're currently up on buffalo 14 to 13 our running game is pretty much non-existent only 29 yards now ty johnson hasn't been getting involved in this offense and i i talked to him and coach zim i said ty ty's got to get some more he's got to get some more touches he's basically our guy as like a true running back james white's more of a pass receiver he's more of a catcher he's more of a receiver and braxton barrios yeah, Braxton Berrios, 41-yard slant route. He takes it to the house. That's a nice pitch and catch there between me and supposedly a, a slant receiver, a former New England Patriot. All right, so everybody everybody that's with New England knows what they're doing. They, they, they learn from the best from Coach Bill Belichick. Fourth down and two situation, and, you know, Coach Zim says a 55-yard field goal is the way to go here. You know, 21-19, we have to try to take the lead. We gotta, we gotta not allow Buffalo to kick a field goal to win the game. And Mason Crosby is gonna kick it up and miss it. He misses the 55-yarder, and I don't blame him. I mean, it's a hard thing to do, but Buffalo's gonna try to drive. They don't get it done on offense. We take over with four minutes and 30 seconds left to go here. It's three minutes and 37 seconds as we are just trying to grind the clock down. This is what I'm talking to Coach, Coach Zim about, that Ty Johnson has to get some more work. You know, James White's more that receiving back. You know, he's a good running back at Wisconsin, but, you know, in the pro level, he's been more of a, re a, a, a receptions back. And uh, he can't pick up the first down here or any positive yard. It's second and 11, and pass is going to go incomplete. It's going to be third and 11. We had some blitzing going on, some more pressure. I can't get the throw off. I had multiple receivers open past the first down marker. It's going to be up to our defense to get the win. And they hold. They held. Either a missed field goal or a defensive stop on fourth down. We held. And Josh Allen is going to walk out of Orchard Park, New York, with a loss. We got our first win. My first win as a pro, even. And our first win of the season against the Buffalo Bills, against the divisional rival. You know what? I had three touchdowns. I was way efficient this uh, this week. Not a lot of yards, but we did get the running game involved. We had James White with 17 carries, Ty Johnson with 11. So White had 54, Johnson 40. We had 94 yards rushing. I had a rush for negative one. 
But overall, a very good game, a well-balanced game. I think that that's going to be the formula to success, obviously. You know, you got to be able to run the ball in the NFL level. And uh, I think Ty Johnson is probably going to be our answer. You know, you get him, you sprinkle him involved. You get James White involved a little bit, too. We could easily start rattling off some wins. I feel like if I can if I can play well, limit the turnovers, right? I didn't have a turnover, a single turnover in today's game. And uh, I think we'll be able to have a pretty solid season. So far, seven touchdowns, five picks, 72%. Completion percentage, Xavier Bolt still playing well over 173 yards during the season. And our next matchup is going to be against Jacksonville. So we got to go on the road against Jacksonville and Trevor Lawrence, the number one overall draft pick, the national champion winner, of course, over Alabama. They stole the spotlight against us. Boston College was supposed to be in that national championship, and unfortunately, I mean, we beat them. We beat them in the regular season. We we won the ACC championship game against Virginia Tech. And the BCS poll and the coaches, they wanted Clemson still. So there's a little bit of bad blood going on between me and Trev. And, uh, you know, I hope that this team, I hope we can come out here and play together as a unit and get this W over, the, over Jacksonville to, to get another win on the road. Right, We had a win over here against Buffalo. Hopefully we can get a win here against Jacksonville on the road. That would be a really big thing for us. It would be a tone setter to get back to 2-2 two and two on the season, get back to 500. That way we can scrape, scratch, and claw and fight to potentially maybe reach the playoffs. I'm, I mean, I, I know you, you got to be optimistic. you got to be optimistic here at the pro level. There's no time for negativity and realism. There's no time for that. You got to be positive. You got to maintain that positive attitude. Otherwise, you're just going to be a sinking ship. So I'm excited for this matchup against Trevor Lawrence. Hopefully we get that dub and I'm going to try to sling it. I'm going to be slinging it all over the field, all, all over Jacksonville's defense and uh, really make a name and prove it that, yeah, I'm the better QB.